didn't really watch a lot of comics. You kind of invented your own style, right? I yeah, I didn't. I wasn't. I mean, I saw comics like I saw George Carlin live and Steve Martin live and and Klein, Robert Klein, and 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 I, I saw comics live. But when I started doing it, it wasn't. We weren't. I wasn't influenced by other comics because for the first six nine months of my comedy, I wasn't seeing anybody else. It was just me. I didn't know anybody else doing it. I remember when you, you learn by by doing it wrong. You go, they go, okay, you have like five minutes or eight minutes, whatever they get to audition, and you go, well, I can't show all of me in five minutes. So you try to jam ten minutes of material into five minutes, and then just ruin it all because you were so tight trying to push material, you didn't let anything breathe, and. Eventually you learn, like Zimmerman, just go up and do five minutes. Just do five minutes of you. Just take your time. I mean, Ron got it early. Yeah. And so these guys were coming down from New York City, and I met, I met them, and I was working with them, and I became friends with them. And they were like, you got to move to New York. And I was like, I knew I had to if I was going to do this. And I made the decision because I was, you know, deciding I was clerking for a guy and he wanted me to come up and be his junior partner in law in New Jersey. And I went, no, I'm done. I'm, I'm done with the law. I'm going to do the comedy thing. So I just moved to New York and like, oh, no. <laughs> my dad looked like he got gut shot like Harvey Oswald from Ruby, you know, he just bent over the table, you know, and my mom screamed, hey, crazy, you wasted all that time in school. And uh, no, I'll do some jokes about the law, mom. I'm really going to work it in. You know, one Friday night, I'm sitting out in the bar. I just sat in the bar and wait all night long. I'd get there, whatever the show started at eight, I'd be there on time or early. And I'd sit in the bar, you know, just nursing and coke and just smoking cigarettes and finally I saw um, the, the spot after after they would be like um, you have to follow Gilbert the fifth spot was was a paying spot still like on these shows it'd be like three comics a singer then Gilbert always had the spot after the singer Gilbert Gottfried yeah. and then the fifth spot and that was the one I, I knew I pinned us because people don't want to feel follow Gilbert he'd break down comedy so if you followed him and did any kind of regular comedy You'd look like a Catskill hack. That's how old you would look instantly. Yeah. It didn't matter because he remember he did that. He goes, why the why the moron throw the clock out the window? Because he's a fucking moron. Are you listening to me? Why the chicken cross the street? It's a fucking chicken. It's got a brain this big. Who the fuck cares why it crossed the street? I literally fell out of my chair laughing. People would. I, he would read from the good book and he'd open it and it would be a Harlequin <laughs> romance as he was reading from it. He oh, yeah. Or he'd take the stool, a bar stool, hold it up, and do quadra dick right. as Jaws, right? <laughs> so I went up after Gilbert. I, I used to get the spot after Gilbert a lot. They would give me the weekend spot. So almost if I got two, three weekend spots, every one of them was that spot after Gilbert. So I started talking to the audience about it. I'd see couples. i go, you, took, you two a couple? And I'd start doing couples and jokes about relationship. I'd, I'd go, how long you been going out? Who said I love you first? Are you living together? I'd do that as opposed to where you're from, what you do right. for a living. And it got me into doing the relationship stuff. And that's where you took it. And that's what I, yeah, that, that became my thing. And then the clubs just started exploding. I mean, then it's like, then Philly's playing, playing got a playing club, comedy club. You know, I think they're, the comedy they had a works. great scene. They, they had, great, three, they had three a gigs. great scene. But then they started bringing in the acts from outside. And then, then Cleveland and Detroit and all these places just start popping up and bringing in outside act. Yeah, I mean, you saw the whole evolution of this thing right, going from... Right. It started right. as the Wild West, and then it became very corporate. It was very Wild West. I mean, the guys who were the biggest acts on the road were the guys who sold the most liquor. Ollie Joe Prater, John Fox, they drank on stage. Oh, yeah. So they're doing shots with the audience. And the club owners would be like, you come in, they go, yeah, Ollie Joe just sold $13,000. Well, I'm not blowing my liver out for your club this week. The club owners, they they gave you cocaine. As, as my friend Kevin Rudy says, they give you all the cocaine you want, but if you ask for a sandwich, you go half price. <laughs> <laughs> but they they wanted the monkeys wired, man. They would they would give you the coat. Yeah. They fight over money. No, no, over 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 the over the sandwich, man. I, I'm trying to remember where I was working. You were a bit of a horn dog, weren't you? <laughs> uh, maybe I should have waited until you know, were drinking your coffee. You know, I I got married, and uh, I, I'm I'm not you know this is what it was. You were a comic. This is what I was on the road, and there's a line from uh, the movie Last Detail with Jack Nicholson. Trying I don't know if you ever saw it. Yeah. Right? And this woman says, have you ever been married? And Jack Nicholson goes, not so you'd notice. <laughs> that was me on the road. I remember the first time that Jerry goes, uh, you're doing uh, whatever it was, Sunday night, Freddy's, wherever it was. One Sunday night, he says, uh, this time you're going to uh, uh, get you get picked up by some guy from Long Island. These guys from Long Island are coming in. Because they had car. Right. You know, reliable transportation gets you more gigs as a young That's comic. That's how I started. I had enthusiasm right? in the car, man. Right, you had enthusiasm in the car. <laughs> you know, I, you know, uh, um, uh, Joan Rivers talked about it too. 
I mean, the same thing, right? She had reliable transportation to go up the Catskills. But anyway, so I get picked up by Jackie Martling and uh, and and uh, Woodsy, Bob, Woodsy, Bob Woods, Bob Woods, right? So, so I get in this car. They, they had they had a '70s land yacht station wagon, yeah, you know, right, with that fake little uh, the, the, the plastic siding on stuff. So I get in the car. I get in the back seat. I'm next to a cooler. I'm next to a big cooler. They go, hey, you want a beer? Or anything? Go in the cooler. And uh, and when anything you want in the cooler. Now there's bottles of wine in it. There's a place things filled with with beer. Then they go, hey, you want a mai tai? They hand me back a smaller, like one of those jugs coolers that's filled with mai tai. Then they go, they go right. They go that. They go, and then they go, how about let's let's start smoking. Now we're heading for the Lincoln Tunnel. We're we're drinking. They've got about 14 joints rolled. We're going a half hour into Jersey. Right. We nearly get lost in the tunnel. We have got so <laughs> wasted. We're so fuck. We actually this is what, this would kill me. We're driving around. We're lost. And and but we're going. Hey, they can't start the show till we get there. We are the show. So we're not like sweating and sweating it, but we're lost. We actually this is how crazy we were. Jackie sees a cop and he flags the cop down. <laughs> we we got we got a brewery in the car with us. We 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 just hide the the beer bottles under the seat or whatever. And Jackie was excuse me, officer. We're trying to get to this. We're doing a show. He goes follow me. And the cop leads three drunken idiots to Freddy's uh, in Bernardsville, wherever life it was. In America used to be good. <laughs> He just drives us there like we're a pregnant woman and trying to get Jack, to the hospital. It was Jackie driving. It Jackie, was Jackie driving, I think. I think Woodsy we was just always getting stoned. Oh, oh no. Are you, pal? <laughs> Great to see you. And Jackie, from the beginning, you know, he did. Oh, he he was so he so carved out a different place because we were all trying to do our original material and trying to be, you know, right. And he just from the beginning just did old jokes.